I would like to also say Nairo, but it really depends on Nairo's uh, mindset. We well, got three slots. So. Yeah, I'm just, I, well, Nairo. Has, think, I'm just trying to get two uh, out of three. All three. All three. I would say Salem, Nairo, and the All right. Well, we're gonna find out. This first match obviously gonna go a long way towards that as we are here to kick it off, ladies and gentlemen. Elegant Salem. Let's get it on Smashville to be the first stage. I mean, for Cosmos, which is interesting because he did have to take Cosmos out to even get to this situation. That's so. true. I mean, they had a, a very intense losers qualifier uh, grand finals right there. Which, yeah, I've seen uh, the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, man, Cosmos actually <laughs> reset the bracket on him. And uh, things were looking good until, uh, I don't know, man, he just turned it up to another gear, which is exactly what he's going to have to do here against Salem, who's already opted to kind of play that platform. You know he is no stranger, just kind of playing that run and gun strategy should it present itself. And guys, I mean, if this is your first Smash tournament you've ever watched, uh, you're going to be in for a long haul this time around. This is definitely Salem's play style. He does play the very, very patient. I'm not going to put myself in danger right. by any means, only because only, only because he knows how much time he has on the clock to even defeat his opponent. However, he was not able to get away from that grab. Still keeping up the pressure right here is Elegant Matt. Well, I'll tell you what, TK, that's clearly something else he knows that what Elegant is capable of doing off of just one tiny hit, man. One grab, one conversion can lead to so much. And in a blink of an eye, you see Elegant already in the lead here. Yeah. Looking to take control doing just that with that back throw. Got him off stage here. And just going to take his time. No need to rush anything. This is one of the things that really ex uh, excels in Elegant's game is the way he uses Tornado, but I feel like he will not be able to get that off on uh, Benetta as much as he would like. And that Benetta has one of the best, if not the best, recovery in the game. So. Definitely, man. Twist first twist, man. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, good tech. Yeah, fantastic tech, in fact. Oh, and they are going back and forth. Oh, does that I work? This all stay oh! play. Does it work? Question answer, TK. Ain't make you wait. Ow. Okay, elegant. I mean, as I said, you know, it's going to be hard for him to find those positions to use that tornado, but he definitely found the perfect one right there. As, uh, as Salem thought, maybe he had that stock with the way he was going off stage, but I mean, you can never un underestimate Luigi. No doubt about it. And again, it really just kind of justifies why you see Salem take the slow approach in this matchup. I said it before it's even started, my man. It developed a little bit of a reputation back in the day for slaying these bales. Maybe trying to resurrect that here. What a statement he would be making if he's able to take out Salem. Yeah. At least, at least if not even taking out Salem, I mean, this might be a game he ends up losing. It really depends on how the rest of this goes. But if he does end up beating Salem, that's still huge. Definitely. Uh, for Elegant as he was the last chance qualifier. So if he makes it from that last chance qualifier into the top eight, yeah. like that's a journey. Oh, you ain't lying. The journey right here for Salem, the bring of this one back truly has begun. Elegant at a very dangerous 148. You wouldn't know it though by the way this man is playing. No fear. He's going in, picking his spots, trying to find the opening. Salem looks like he's trying to find a back air to get some kind of conversion going. Is that it? Yeah, yeah. right off the, off right. the uh, top left there, man. And it didn't matter how great he DI'd, it seemed like he had way too much damage to really uh, survive that. So now, Salem again, even though he is uh, behind by a little bit, he is able to get that back soon if he can get another combo. But the way that he's playing is still forcing uh, Elegant to approach. Of course, and there's yeah. still plenty of time on the clock, so you're more than, you know, a lot of the opportunity to kind of play this kind of strategy, slow things down. As you know, you're trying to keep Elegant at your pace. You don't want this guy going out of control, man. Yeah. And right there, I mean, the, the, the interesting thing about it is even if he has a solid lead, oh, wow. Mm. Okay, that was a clean back here. Still let those be reaching. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that would have been, oh, if he would have snuck that stock off, I was, I was already done with this set. <laughs> I was already done with this set. But yeah, no, um, even with him being in the lead, if Elegant is in the lead, he still has to be the one who, who has to be the aggressor because of the fact, you see how Salem is using neutral layers. There's sure. extra hitboxes coming off it because he's holding the button. So those bullets still do damage, even if you're not getting any knockback, thus making it hard for you to be able to uh, camp Bayonetta. Without a doubt, just using every tool available to him with his character. Mm. Uh -oh. Attack again. Always just so willing to go deep in there. You see why? Things like that just paying off. He got the tech, but Sam was able to establish himself back on stage a little more quickly and then just lands that really game-clinching back air to take care of business. We got Elegant over here thinking, man, what is the stage I need to take him to right now? Um, I mean, honestly, when it comes to Bayonetta, I mean, I, if FD is not banned, then obviously I would say take him there. Sure. But when it's not, when it is banned, it's, the, the choices get real slim. I mean, you have Town of City, it turns into FD sometimes, it turns into, uh, you know, Battlefield, it turns into Smash, it turns into a lot of stages on intervals. But I feel like the one thing you don't want to do is take them to a tri fighting area. So you kind of force to uh, take them to Town of City, possibly even Lilac, but. I mean, even that's kind of a, a little bit of a reach, you know what I mean? 
Absolutely. So our second game, Town and City. Things already underway. Slight lead here for Elegant. Okay. And that's what Elegant always needs to do, man. Establishing a lead at the start is just so beneficial to him because it allows, it, it really does put you in a situation where you know at some point Salem's going to need to approach you, right? Yeah. So you can kind of be, you know, a little counterplay, stuff like that. I think that's kind of what's going to benefit Elegant the most if he's able to keep up that kind of pace. But we shall see. All right. Salem always seem to have the perfect micro space to get uh, past Elegant's you know, ways of getting back on stage. Always seem to be just right out of range, but in the range to also punish if he uh, ends up throwing out the aerial. So. Oh, okay. Right, that's a good answer to that neutral air. I'm saying, that was a, that was a true Bay Bay uh, battle right there. You already know, man. Oh, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 baby. Not today. Uh, now, now uh, a obvious good trade right there for Elegant. Does make it back on stage right here, man. And you can ask him later. He'll tell you he planned it. Yeah. <laughs> nah, he was just trying to get back to stage. You know, yeah, he was definitely trying to get back to stage. <laughs> Quick gas, cash for gold, man. My man trading up on uh, on Craigslist right now. Let's go. Lewis, man. Oh, man. That's got to be a good feeling for Elgin here. Not trying to face a situation where you go down 0-2 to the reigning EVO champion. Now, honestly, I really like how Elegant's playing the, uh, the sides as well. A lot of people in that situation where Salem drops a back air uh, while he's like facing the ledge, and then he immediately runs off and goes for an afterburner kick, they end up getting hit by an afterburner kick. But Salem's play, or Elegant's playing with that patience where he has not allowed that to uh, really be a factor I feel for that. Salem's play. I feel that. Wow. Dang, he's dropping that player. <laughs> Deceptively thick. Well, I said Snoop Dogg came through, he dropped like it's hot. <laughs> All right, trying to get the chase down right here. 67%. I'm not really sure if you wanted that tech, but you know, still living. Scoop down, throw into the forward air. Not going to be down there in that situation. I oh, love that. Okay. I love that situation he put himself in. Let me just throw him off stage here. I'm going to wait for you to just come back. I know you're going to come at me aggressively. I got this upbeat waiting for you. Oh, yeah. I got the trigger ready. I'm pulling it, baby. I'm pulling it. Yeah, man. I, that, that right there, Salem. You know, threw out all three hits of his forward air. Maybe not an option that he was expecting uh, Elegant to know, because honestly, that's not an option that, that Van Nettles will do on the ledge right, like that. Right. So, you know, it was, it was tricky, but only tricked himself out of that stock. So, here we are, out to game two, man. The crowd starting to build up in here. I like it. I'm going to actually turn around, and I see a actual SoCal crowd. Shout out to SoCal know. this Shout time around, SoCal. man. Finally coming through, man. <laughs> you already know. We got plenty of seats for you, man. Just pull one up. Yeah, man, if you, if you were in the SoCal area, and you're not here at least tonight, man, come through tomorrow have uh, all the seats ready for you. There's no tournament going on tomorrow, so only top eight. And you're definitely be part of this action, the 2GG Championship. 1-1 one, one in our first set, this is Salem and Elegant. This Ooh. is really legendary when you really think about it, my man. Yeah. First of its kind, and what oh, great no. player representation we are getting. And despite his best abilities, unable to make it back, Salem, what a play underneath the stage. What a play, and also, I mean, just great awareness from Salem to not let go of that ledge until it was time for him to go for that forward air, you know? A lot, I feel like in some situations, people would have gotten a little antsy, yeah. let go of that ledge early, all their invincibility would have been gone, but Salem held that ledge for dear life. I'm telling you, that was, that was a seasoned play right there. He's yeah. been in a situation like that before, Oh yeah. and he capitalized perfectly. All right, back on stage right here. But look at this, Elegant has not taken any damage just yet. He's gonna be looking for that up smash to go ahead and take this stock away. Finally takes the back air here, a traded back air, somehow sends him to the right side. Oh, not again. Oh, he's back. Oh, and he Ooh, takes and the stock as well. He's back. Salem's gone. All right. So that deficit not looking too bad here. Well, obviously, Salem looking to certainly change that up. Mm. All right. I'm going to get a piece. He's definitely get a piece right there. Nice grab right here. Gets the turnaround. Does not care about that bat within. And no BS here, man. Hell yeah, man. Just straight on savage combos being delivered from Elegant. Not often Bayonetta runs into a character that kind of challenge her ability to combo as well. You can dish it out. You got to be able to take it here. 5% separating these guys. Plenty of time on that clock down to a last stock situation. All right. Hmm. Say I'm content to kind of keep that space. He's a shot fired indeed, yeah. man. He said, I don't care if you got a shield up. I'm shooting through <laughs> that as well. Down to the wire, the back air. Oh, and it's done. There it is. Where's Bam? Because he's dead. <laughs> Where is Bam? Well, I'll tell you what, Bam might have been dead on the money here with his pick for Elegant. 
to come out of this, uh, as people are naming it, pretty much the death pool here, the 2GG Championship playoffs underway. Set number one, certainly not disappointing. Elegant with the 2-1 lead right now. How will Salem respond is the question. And remember, Salem got that stock off pretty quickly. He really There's did. There's some shenanigans on the right side underneath of Lilat. Wow, which is a beautiful and perfect stage. Shout out to my boy MVD. Oh, and shout out to my boy Elegant. Ah! Elegant, I didn't even get a chance to talk before you took your first time. Fifth, only 10 seconds off the, off the clock. A stock is gone. I think it was probably more like five seconds. However, Jesus, Elegant, could you calm down? He says, absolutely not, TK. I have to get this first win. Elegant just running rampant here uh -oh. on Salem. Wow. Was not expecting this. But perhaps oh! I should have. Oh, my God. Perhaps I should have. Elegant, elegant, Matt, using the forgotten brother here to take this victory over Salem. That's what it is, man. I what I say, it's hard to go against the Evo champ, but one thing about Smash 4 is, man, one event, the greatest thing since sliced bread, the next event, you toast, and he just got buttered up right there. I that boy even, ain't playing with him. Jeez, I mean, like, we didn't even, that wasn't even a game. That wasn't even a game. I mean, can we get... <laughs> Can Salem, in? Salem, he didn't even have the controller in his hand. There's no way. There's no way he didn't have the controller in his hand. It won a game. I don't know why he was trying to play. <laughs> a Man, three, short work. one victory for Elegant. That was short I can only work. imagine Bam going crazy in the studio right now. Yeah, I mean, I can see, we can see him on the camera right I can there. Say, oh, yeah, yeah, rub them hands. He's, he's doing yeah, the Birdman yeah. hand yeah. rub. Y'all can't see it. We're doing the Birdman <laughs> Elegant deserves all of that win right there. That was a crazy last game right there. I mean, less than a minute. Less than a minute, like two combos at most. And think about it.